Hey, this is Greg. We're going to introduce something different today. I feel like I'm introducing a lot of things different here lately, but that's okay. I'm going to be calling this the cross-pollination series. I've reached out to several uh, YouTube creators that are in the homestead, wilderness, or preparedness genre, so to speak. Today I'm going to introduce you to Kevin and Sarah of Living Traditions Homestead. They're out in Missouri and they're trying to carve out their own way of sustainability just like the rest of us are. I've subscribed to them myself and I watch their videos and every now and then I'll, I'll you know, leave a comment and hit a thumbs up and stuff like that. So uh, they've recorded an introduction to their little homestead and we're going to be seeing that here in a minute. Um, what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to create this massive community of of people that are, you know, like-minded. That way you can learn from a whole lot of different folks. I've got some interesting goals to go along with it. It depends on, on the response that I have. But uh, I want you to check out Kevin and Sarah. Hey everybody, welcome to our homestead. My name is Kevin and this is my wife Sarah. We're from Living Traditions Homestead. And Greg Carter has asked us to do this quick video introducing all of you to our homestead. Uh, we are full-time homesteaders here in the Missouri Ozarks. Uh, we left our corporate jobs in the uh, Phoenix, Arizona area and moved to the Missouri Ozarks to be full-time homesteaders. And uh, we are uh, on the path to being self-sufficient. Uh, we put up five videos every week on our YouTube channel. And we are excited that Greg uh, has uh, decided to uh, help us out or offered to help us out. And uh, you know, he has just such an amazing channel. Uh, we have actually watched his channel long before we were doing YouTube videos ourselves. And uh, his foraging videos and wild edibles are just amazing. And uh, if you haven't watched his uh, playlist on those, you really need to take the time to do that. Uh, he's a wealth of information. Uh, we raise all of our own meat on our homestead. We raise most of the vegetables that we eat. And uh, in general, we just try to be as self-sufficient as possible. So we're going to give you just a real quick tour and show you what we do. Like Kevin said, we raise as many of our own veggies as possible. And behind me, you can see our uh, large in-ground garden. Uh, we raise a lot of things in there. Uh, and uh, we also have um, eight raised bed gardens that we're working with this year. Uh, you can see that right now we're using um, electrified netting to keep out the critters. Um, and as, a, as Kevin keeps going, uh, you'll see that we have started our uh, orchard area. We just planted that in October. Uh, we've been in this homestead for a year now, just one year, it'll be a year this week. The two types of meat that we eat the most on the homestead are chicken and rabbit. Uh, both of which we raise ourselves uh, on the ground in movable tractors. Uh, this batch of meat chickens is almost ready to be processed. Uh, over on our channel we have videos about how we raise them. I have videos about how to make the tractors. Uh, so definitely go and check those out. We are just starting a brand new video series, a multi-part series on how we raise our meat rabbits. All the way from breeding to butchering and everything in between. We also raise pigs turkeys, meat goats, and I do a lot of hunting and trapping. We also raise Nigerian dwarf goats to have milk and cheese, and uh, we sell the babies as a source of income as well. So that's a quick peek at our homestead. We have a ton going on. Uh, we hope that uh, if you guys haven't already, uh, first of all, uh, you will hit the subscribe button here on Greg's channel. Uh, again, it's an amazing channel, lots of great videos. And then after you've subscribed to Greg, uh, head on over to our channel at Living Traditions Homestead. Uh, we sure would love to have you along on our journey as we transition from city people to country people. Uh, we've learned a lot already, but there's always more to learn. So there's lots of adventures coming up on the homestead. Uh, thank you so much for uh, watching this. And until next time, God bless. Well, there you go. You got to meet Kevin and Sarah and see a little bit about their homestead in Missouri. If that's something that you find interesting, consider giving them a subscribe. Um, this series, uh, and I hope it turns into a true series like my foraging and all of that other stuff. Uh, I'm hoping to introduce you to a lot of people from all across the country and even folks that are from... Uh, other countries around the world 
if you are a creator and you are in the homestead wilderness or preparedness genre, send me a send me a send me a message. We'll we'll try to see if we can't work together. Um, and like I said, check out Kevin and Sarah. Step by step, we're bringing real back. Have a great day. Bye.